Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be making a spiral staircase and to do so, I'm going to be using the quickest and simplest method I can think of. Anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of your time and let's get going. Alright, so let's get going and let's make a spiral staircase. Let me turn on the screencast keys. This should be down here. Anyway, I'm going to make a circle and I'm going to make it say 16 vertices and 5 meters in the radius. Yeah, 5 should be fine. Alright, oh, I forgot to like add fins to it. Anyway, um, an easy way to do that is basically you make a face over here and after that you can just both faces and we wanna delete all of them except one. So let's just delete all of them except this one and next up, I guess, yeah, we should just extrude it up. Say 0.5 is fine. Okay, so next up we need an empty and let's just move that up 0.5 as well. So it's matching with this vertex over here. So from one edge to the other, uh, you need to make sure that like this fin's origin is over here and the empty has the origin to where you want the next fin to start. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna add an array modifier to this and turn off relative offset, just enable object offset and select the empty. So now, the empty is controlling where the next step goes and not just the next step it's basically controlling where all of the steps go as you can see so we just need to rotate it and that will determine you know how the next step rotates as well but we don't know well actually we do we do know exactly how much to rotate it by because we know the number of fins there are in an entire circle so all we need to do is just come over here and 360 divided by 16 and it will do all of the math for us um, Next up what we want to do is just change the count to 16 as well So as long as it's a multiple of 16 It will go from this bit and end at this bit as well. So if you look at it from the top It'll be a complete spiral Okay, um, if you want to do two stories just do 32. It's pretty much that simple um, Okay, is that everything? Uh, no, not really. Um, if you want to add, say, like a support to the center, you could use a circle. And I'm just going to scale it down, say, like 0.2 is fine. And just go into edit mode and extrude it. Oh, you need to add a face first and then extrude it up. Uh, it's a good idea to enable snapping so you can easily do this. Okay, so that's done. Uh, some people do like extrude it all the way up and to the next ceiling because it acts as a pillar as well as support for the actual stairs. Um, next up, using this method, since we're not using relative offset, um, we could also just easily add more details. Oh, what's going on? Oh, we're using like a triangular fin. That's the problem. Anyway, um, we could easily add more details to everything as well. Oh, boy. Okay, that's not really a problem. That's not really a concern for us. The details I want to add are all the way over here. So just extrude them out. And there you go. You have like just the tiniest bit of detail. Um, do I wanna? I, I don't really want to right now. Oh, we need to shift tab and extrude it up. So basically this is like the absolute basic method. You could even like make a dedicated cylinder around it. You could basically add the railings. You could do whatever you want and it would automatically do it for like every other step in this as well. So if I just do this, my bad, it'll do it for like all of the steps. And oh yeah, you could easily match it by just doing this. There. It looks nice. Um, for the back bit, honestly, don't bother. Unless you actually want to. <laughs> um, it is possible, but you'll have to do like a bit of hacking because you can't actually snap it to like these bits at all because they're not part of this mesh. So you're kind of like out of luck over there. Unless you use this method, in which case it kind of looks bad. 
Anyway, so that's it for this video and let me know if you want me to do more of these quick tutorials. Let me know if you want like a video on a spiral railing though because honestly I was running into some issues when doing it like the first time. So yeah, let me know how you feel and goodbye.